hello again guys okay so in the last project we set up our spring boot um, uh, application um, along with the dependencies that we're going to need so today i want us to test out the um, uh, the set uh, we're going to do some configuration so that we can at least be able to display one of the uh, to display a simple view all right so within the project here the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a folder here called config so i'm going to say config and then in here, we can then uh, add a class. Uh, we can just name it whatever, but I'm gonna name it app config. Okay. And so this is supposed to extend um, web MPC configuration support. Um, so we need that. And then here we need to say add con um, configuration, right? And beneath here, we're going to say add component, uh, component scan. And so here we're going to say, um, what do we type in here? Uh, it's base uh, packages. So in here, what we type in is the, basically we're telling this application that for, to scan within the, uh, let me just actually take that name there. I'll say refactor, rename uh rename i'm just gonna copy the name don't just after you do that don't 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 save anything just say cancel all right so we're basically telling the application to search within this package for all of the components all right so within here we've now got the um uh, what you call it the um our our application configuration setup now what i want to do is i want to add another I want to add another folder within here. I'm going to say package, and this is going to be controllers, right? And then in here, I'm just going to add um, index controller. Okay, save that. And then we have to annotate this as a controller. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to say public um, model and view. By the way, um, so here I'm going to say in get index, right? You don't have to use model and view if you don't want to. You can just return a string and um, and then um, um, set up your 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 what you call it your the name of your your what you call it return whatever you want to return within here so in here for now we can just say return um in um um in index page right uh we can also say system or let me just say s out and then in here we can just say in index controller okay and then don't forget to annotate this as a get uh, mapping of, I mean, as a get, uh, as a get, um, what you call it, mapping. And then we can just say that. Okay. So uh, model and view, by the way, when you use it, um, right, you would have to uh, come in here and say model and view. Um, and view and then say maybe let's say get index page and then say equal to new model and view and then this is where you would name the name of your view so something like index but because in here currently we don't have that set up uh, we don't need to use this for the time being but uh, going forward we will be using this all right so but let's just uh, let me just um, let me comment this out for now and then turn this back to a string okay all right so uh, we've got the configuration there um and uh, what else so i think that should be fine for now i just want to test and see that uh, will this return um this message over here it should return the string once we go to the index page or the uh, main route so i want to run this
by the way i'm just going to pause it while it's running because sometimes it does take a while for my side to to get the application up and running so i'll be back once it's up and running okay the server is up so let me just see um currently there are no errors within the console so if there's any error errors it will display here at the at the bottom so let's just check now if we go remember this port we set up within the application dot properties file so let's see now if it does show anything okay seems like there's an issue a right, circular view path with dispatch current okay so still there's a bit of an issue so all right let me stop the server and then um let's do this um here within the main application file we're going to create a directory so it's going to be called web app so make sure to name it like this because this is how the uh, this is how the tomcat um server um actually wants the directory set up and in here i'm going to create another one this is going to be web inf all right and then in here i'll set an index page um, index.jsp now in order for this to work um let me just say index page so now for this in order to work we need to set up the view resolver for this so again here within the application um, um, app config here what we will do we'll say public um, actually let me say internal or public and then internal should be internal view resolver Sorry, internal resource view resolver. Okay, and then we're gonna say uh, view resolver. And then within here, we're gonna say um, internal view resolver. Uh, JSP. Okay, so we're going to say JSP dot set uh, prefix. So in here we're going to set up, we're going to name uh, this web dot inf. So we're going to say uh, web. Uh, sorry, there needs to be a backslash, a forward slash, and say web inf, and then we're going to say um, JSP. Okay. So this is the, the folder structure. I actually made a mistake here. We need to move this within the, we will create a directory here called JSP and then we can move this index file into there. But we'll do that once we're done here. So, and then we're gonna say uh, JSP, you resolve set suffix. And then that's gonna be dot JSP, okay? And then we're gonna say JSP, I mean JSP view resolver dot uh, set view uh, view class will be um, JSTL and then view and then dot class and then down here we just say return JSP view resolver okay and then we need to annotate this as beam All right, so let's see. Um, I think that's all we need. All right, so I think that's all we need within here. So in here, I need to create this uh, JSP folder. So remember we said forward slash web inf 
and then forward slash JSP. So that's how we need to set it up. By default, it'll know to look within the web app folder. Um, so I just need to move this within the let's say refactor. And then if we did everything right, it should be able to find that controller. So here I'm gonna return this to model and view. Um, I'm gonna uncomment this. All right, so what else? Uh, let me actually say uh, get index page dot add object. So you can say page page title and name this to index or we can name this to home if we want to all right so if we've done everything correctly hopefully this will then now display the the index page okay so in here just to test it out i'm gonna use it an expression and access that page title um, object that we laid out I mean object that we added so this it should display um, what we typed in here okay so let's try again and see if the application works I'm gonna pause the video again while it loads up the um, what you call it the um, the application while it deploys the application I mean okay so the application is up so far here there's no errors so let's try again and see if our application will find our view okay so there you have it we are, are now able to load our view and then if you check within here there's currently no errors and then as you remember we did a sys out uh, statement over here so it's now displaying um, that uh, says um, what you call it that message that we uh, set up within our um, what you call it um, our controller okay so yeah if you remember we set that up uh, we said index page and then we are also even able to access the object that we set up within our controller uh, up here so I set it to page title and then now it's displaying the home page um, as you can see over there all right, so, so far it looks like our configuration um, throughout the application is now um, set up correctly. Um, in the next video, we should set up, at the very least, we will then first uh, set up our, our landing page that we designed within um, the previous videos. And so uh, this should, this should, should um, uh, that means we're gonna have to copy our our CSS files, images, and so forth into this, um, what you call it, static folder here. And then we also need to make a config, another configuration here within the uh, application config. All right, guys, so that's it for the video um, for the time being. Um, in the next video, like I said, we will set up the landing page um, uh, and all our resources within this uh, static folder. And then we will see if um, all the, the designs that we made, do they display or not. All right, so um, that's it for the video. If you've liked what you've seen so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys within the next uh, video. Thanks for now.